National Assembly passes amended land law. U.S. redesignates Yemen's Houthis as global terrorists. The emergency resident relocation project has not been implemented for more than 10 years. You're watching today's news on NTV channel. My name is Ha Zhang, your host. On the morning of January the 18th, under the chairmanship of National Assembly Chairman Wen Linghui, the National Assembly closed its fifth extraordinary session and passed amended land law. The National Assembly voted to pass the revised land law. The voting results showed that 432 out of the 477 National Assembly deputies voting in favor accounting for 87.63% the total deputies. Thus, with the majority of deputies voting in favor, the National Assembly has officially passed the amended land law. With 450 deputies voting in favor, accounting for 91.28%, the National Assembly also officially passed the amended law on credit institutions. The National Assembly also passed a resolution on a number of specific mechanisms and policies to implement national target programs. The draft resolution on the use of central budget reserves of the medium-term public investment plan for the period 2021 to 2025. The U.S. government redesigned Germans' Houthis as a global terrorist group in response to dozens of attacks by the rebels on international maritime roads in the Red Sea. The U.S. made the above decision in the context of Washington's efforts to prevent Houthis' attacks on international shipping to protest Israel's bombardment in Gaza. Mr. Biden's previous administration designated the Houthis as a terrorist organization before leaving office. In February 2021, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken removed the Houthis from the terrorist list because of the serious humanitarian situation in Yemen. Responding to the U.S. decision, the Houthis announced that they would not give up attacking Israeli ships or ships heading to ports in occupied Palestines. A top Hamas official announced new conditions on Wednesday for delivering medicines to hostages held by the group in Gaza, insisting trucks carrying the drugs must not be inspected by Israel. On social network, Musa Abu Marzouk, a senior member of Hamas political bureau, announced that for every box of medicine that goes in for the hostages, 1,000 boxes will go in for residents of Gaza. Medicine will be provided through a country Hamas chooses. Medicine trucks will enter the Gaza Strip without Israeli inspection. However, on the same day, the agency of the Israeli Ministry of Defense, which is responsible for civil affairs in Palestine, announced that five medicine trucks would be security checked at the Karim Shalom border gate. Currently, all aid shipments into the Gaza Strip are inspected by Israel. Coming up next are some of the news. The Provincial People's Committee has issued Plan Number 06 on participating in Travix 2024 Fair. It is expected that the event will be held from January 22 to 27, 2024, in Vientiane capital, Laos. The plan aims to organize a Nagi and tourism booth at the Vietnam Tourism Booth space to introduce and promote the image of people culture as well as attractive destinations and unique tourism products of Nagi and province. Through the ASEAN Tourism Forum and Travix Fair, the province will organize promotional activities, exchanges and seek cooperation opportunities between state management agencies in charge of tourism sector and Nagi and tourism businesses, partners inside and outside the ASEAN region. On the morning of January 18, Guy and Department of Education and Training held a closing ceremony and awarded prizes for the Provincial Science and Technology Competition for high school students in the 2023-2024 school year. This year, there are 157 projects that won prizes including 12 first prizes. In particular, there are two projects selected to the National Science and Technology Competition held in March 2024, 
which is the project, producing spray to deodorize armpit odor, hand and foot odor, reduce dark underarms from guava leaves and potatoes, and the project, improving self-reliance for students at ethnic boarding high school in Gi and province, current status and solutions. The success of the contest encourages students to build their own research stemming from their own ideas right from school. The Ministry of Transport has just proposed that school buses must have a siren and emergency sound system to warn when a student is left on the bus for no more than 15 minutes. In addition, school vehicles must have a unified dark yellow color covering the outside of the vehicle body. Do not use double-decker vehicles and vehicles with a central hinge as school buses. School buses must be equipped with speed limit devices not exceeding 80 km per hour. For vehicles carrying preschool children, the number of students must not exceed 45 people. For buses transporting elementary and middle school students, the maximum number of students must not exceed 56 people. In 2013, the People's Committee of Nghe'an Province has planned to invest in emergency relocation and resettlement projects for residents in flooded areas outside the jack of Hunghua Commune, Vinh City, to ensure people's lives and property. However, for over the past 10 years, this project still has no progress, causing anxiety for households in this area. Every year during the rainy season, Hualam residential group in Tunhua Hamlet, Hunghua Commune, has to prepare personal belongings to be ready to escape the flood. In 2013, the Provincial People's Committee has a policy to invest in an emergency resettlement project for residents in flooded areas outside the dike of Hunghua Commune with a total cost of nearly 37 billion VND headed by the Provincial Department of Rural Development until 2020 that the project began to be implemented. We are looking forward to being relocated soon to stabilize. Currently, every house is damaged or degraded. Currently, the project has completed ground filling work, electricity, domestic water, internal traffic, drainage system, community house. For now, phase two of the project has been completed and it is expected that 58 households will be relocated in about one month. Frequently affected by natural disaster, the lives of Hualam people are increasingly difficult. Being able to relocate soon is still the biggest wish for the residents here. And now it's time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.